Hello. Yes, some uh, interesting talk again about uh, life that is spontaneously created from entropy, from the change in ent entropy. And uh, what I'm doing right now, not going to re reveal too much, but I mean, okay. Uh, so what I'm doing right now is to try to understand uh, wh why a volume exists and that can seem like a strange thing of course a uh, volume exists but um, but uh, why should it I mean uh, when it comes to organic matter why should a volume exist? Why isn't it just a seamless paste? Uh, everything just a paste uh, of um, like slime, you know, just everything just a seamless paste. Uh, and so I, I'm trying to understand why there are volumes inside volumes, uh, microstates. Uh, that um, create a macro state and that the macro, macro state create, uh, becomes a micro state in its own and uh, next to a lot of other um, uh, yeah so that I think it's like level levels of of macro and ma micro states uh, just like in, in this in this theory of uh, of um, entropy you know, that you can find in physics, and yeah, so I think I think I'm beginning to have like a grasp. Uh, I'm beginning to understand why a volume exists now, and that's um, that's good. So uh, yeah. It can seem like a crazy thing to, to think about. You can see the volume, of course, it's there. You mean, I mean, when you think of an animal, the animal is limited in size, you see, it is a certain size. And it grows uh, slowly and um, but still why is it like that no uh, so And I have I have my idea why actually I can say a bit I, I think it has to do with the, the an anticipation uh, there is something that wants to anticipate and when it comes to uh, microstates there is no uh, arrow of time uh, there is an arrow of time uh, the time goes in a certain direction but when it comes to microstates uh, there is no arrow of time in other words uh, uh, you can more easily pre predict the future of a ma macrostate than you can of a microstate and so uh, this will make uh, so this is life kind of Life, life is something that uh, wants to anticipate and um, um, uh, it wants more, it wants to uh, anticipate more than it wants to react uh, uh, because a reaction is a failed, um, is kind of a failure. The, the point of this structure of, of things inside other things like a fractal is uh, an optimal optimal way to anticipate and that's why we have volumes 
limited volumes and this ties together with other things like um, all of the sudden there is uh, this this anticipation is um, uh, very exact I believe uh, and thanks to the fact that the anticipation is successful it uh, becomes a feedback loop because there is a prediction of the future in, in the microstates being done and um, the feedback loop uh, makes uh, like reinforces this fractal uh, appearance of the microstates inside macrostates. And then there are a lot of, of uh, details that I'm written down that is harder to understand um, but this is what I think and again I think the important thing about how to tie together entropy with life is to uh, I think I think the core thing when it comes to understand how entropy ties together with life is to uh, is to understand why why a volume exists and to realize that there is an anticipation and there is a relationship between the between from one perspective there is an arrow of time time is going in one direction um, where things are uh, irreversible ir 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 irreversible events uh, and on the other hand the the, ma the macro states is reversible in, in, in a sense okay it is more reversible <laughs> I don't know uh, and so it will group together it will find and become like this and so we have an anticipation machine, uh, I would say. Um, okay, bye.